IC, the Honorable Chairman ICPC, members of the NYC top management and other invited guests to this auspicious ceremony marking the official inauguration and induction of the reconstituted NYC Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit. The NYC chapter of the Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit was first instituted in year 2002. That landmark initiative marked the official beginning of a sustained NYC ICPC collaboration. Indeed, it is in furtherance of this collaboration that the NYC Act II is to be inaugurated today. Corruption is a malaise that can bring our nation to its knees and blight our future if left unchecked. It is in realization of this that resulted in the former establishment of anti-corruption and transparency units in all government ministries, departments, and agencies with the charge to one, educate and enlighten the public on corruption and related offenses, two, monitor budget implementation in MDAs, three, promote ethics and integrity through enforcing compliance with ethical codes in MDAs, four, conduct preliminary administrative investigations when necessary, and five, undertake the study and review of operational systems of MDAs to improve transparency and accountability. The NYC as an organization has always deliberately strengthened its internal anti-corruption mechanism to uphold integrity, transparency, and probity amongst its staff and core members in line with its objectives and core values. This, this commitment has always been amply demonstrated through the various support the NYC Act II has always enjoyed. It is equally noteworthy that the NYC Act II is, provide, is provided a conducive atmosphere to conduct its activities in a transparent manner without any form of interference or hindrance. This has resulted in a very vibrant and impactful anti-corruption structure that we have in the scheme today. I wish to use this opportunity to express our sincere appreciation to the Director General for his commitment to the anti-corruption war. His efforts at sanitizing the mobilization process and ensure that only qualified graduates are mobilized for national service is a pointer in this direction. We are indeed very grateful, sir. I also thank the Honorable Chairman and officials of ICBC for their, for, the, for their support in making today's event a reality. My appreciation also goes to the members of the top management and the entire staff of the NYC who play a critical role in sustaining the anti-corruption war within and outside the scheme. In addition, I thank officers of the anti-corruption and transparency unit of the NYC for their commitment which ensure the success of this event. We are equally grateful to all our stakeholders and friends who always identify with us in all our programs. Thank you all and God bless. Corruption and Transparency Unit of the National Youth Service Corps held on the 2nd September 2020. I wish to begin this address by thanking the Director General, Brigadier General Shaibu Ibrahim, and the management team for making this event possible. The timing of this event is apt as it aligns with the ICPC's current strides in the fight against corruption. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission Establishment Act provides for a three-pronged approach in fighting corruption, namely enforcement, prevention, education and public enlightenment. In giving effect to its preventive mandate, the ICPC established the Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit Act II in 2001 in collaboration with the Office of the Head of the Civil Service of the Federation to serve as an internal regulatory mechanism to identify lapses in operational systems and to check on ethical practices and rendering reports on such. The NYSE 
a scheme at the forefront of national development, which focuses on building a pragmatic organization aimed at producing future upright leaders by imparting on the Nigerian youths positive values of nationalism, patriotism, good morals, and the spirit of self-reliance required for nation building cannot achieve its goal if operating under opaque and corrupt practices. Over the years, ICPC has partnered with the NYSE and the Ministry of Education in sanitizing the education sector and eradicating the existence of fake core members who, if absorbed into public service, will not only undermine the objective of the core, but may, but may destroy the education system in Nigeria. It is hoped that with the reconstitution of NYSE Act II, this partnership will be intensified and such negative vices will be eradicated through a corruption-free and sanitized workplace. Let me state here that the Act II is not meant to challenge the authority of management or to displace existing operations in the core. Rather, it is to complement them, especially in the areas of instilling discipline and integrity where it may be lacking. The Act two will also assist the core to combat corrupt practices through periodic sensitization of staff, conduct of preliminary investigations, the development and entrenchment of a code of ethics or conduct for staff, and the study and review of corruption-prone processes and procedures, amongst other duties. May I also use this opportunity to implore the management of the core to continue supporting the unit, especially in the areas of providing adequate fi uh, funding for its operations, as well incorporate its members in various standing committees as provided in extant circulars of government on actus. To the newly appointed members, I dutifully implore you to work hard and refrain from giving in to the temptation of using your office to victimize or which aren't other members of staff, but to enlist their support to ensure the success of the unit. You should also strive to live above board at all times and to justify the trust reposed in you. Kindly permit me to express my profound gratitude once again to the management of this establishment for making this event a reality. We shall continue to seek your support and assistance, bearing in mind that gradually the entire nation will be rid of corruption. Thank you for your attention and God bless. Hi. Do so let me swear or affirm that as a member of the Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit of will display high levels of personal integrity and accountability in all my undertaking that I will to the best of my ability take necessary lawful steps to curb corrupt practices and mobilize others to join the crusade against corruption. So help me God. Thank you very much and congratulations. The Director General, Brigadier General Shoaib Ibrahim, DSS, PLD, MTRCM, to deliver an address. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this auspicious occasion, marking the formal inauguration and introduction of new members of the NYC Anti Corruption and Trans Transparency Unit Act II. During my course visit to the Honorable Chairman, Independent Corrupt Practices and Honor Related Offices Commission last year, I requested specifically for the re inauguration of the NYC chapter of Act II since the tenure of the previous committee had elapsed. I'm therefore glad 
that this inauguration is taking place today. I must say that the large number of members membership is indicative of the interest the scheme has at ensuring that all departments and units of the organization play significant roles in the anti-corruption drive. Corruption, as we know, manifests in different facets of our public and social lives in very negative ways and oftentimes causing pains and untold hardship to the citizens. It goes beyond the issues of misappropriation, bribery in workplaces, embezzlement of funds and nepotism, and it slows down the realization of government objectives of providing for her citizens all the basic necessities of life. It therefore becomes necessary for all hands to be on deck in the fight against this country. It is not a world that should be left only in the hands of the statutory bodies set up by the government to fight. The conceptualization of ACTU as a unit in every government organization by the ICPC is therefore a laudable step at involving other stakeholders in this onerous task. The National Health Service Corps started her collaboration with the ICPC in the year 2002. Within this period, the ICPC Anti-Corruption Vanguard for Youth Corps members was informed, was formed for them to serve as a full soldiers in the fight against uh, corruption. It is heartwarming to note that these young energetic youth corps members have through their spread and academic attainment helped in sensitizing the public in all nooks and crannies of this country. Furthermore, the management of the scheme has intensified efforts at ensuring that any sort of infringement on the provisions of its enabling laws is prevented through the enforcement of its general operational guidelines. Therefore, those who attempt to illegally participate in the program of the scheme or had participated in the past through fraudulent means will be prosecuted when discovered. It must also be noted that the scheme will not entertain any request for respite or leniency by those who deliberately participate illegally in this program and are seeking restitution for their past fraudulent acts. We will always allow the law to take its course on such matters through the prosecution of such persons and organizations or institutions who aided and abetted them. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today's inauguration of the NYC Act Unit is therefore timely as it reinforces our resolve at building a corrupt free nation for us and indeed our future generations. The scheme will continue to highlight its advantage of nationwide spread and strategic positioning to sustain its collaboration with the ICPC for greater success in the anti-corruption war. This role we shall accomplish working closely with the ICPC through collaboration. Let me urge the members of the Constituted NYC Act to know that your selection is on merit and you are therefore expected to discharge your duties with fairness while maintaining the standards laid down by the Commission. It is my fervent hope that with your inauguration today, the NYC has taken another giant step in ensuring that we bequeath a corruption-free society that our children can be proud of. While urging you to show acts that may compromise your position, let me retreat that our door will always remain open for opinions and suggestions that can help the management in taking good decisions. In a similar manner, I will expect the reconstruction of the state chapters to ensure free flow of communication. In addition, I wish to appreciate the Honorable Chairman of the ICPC and the entire Commission for their continued interest in the activities of the scheme leading to this program. We assure you of our unalloyed devotion to evolving a corrupt-free society in the interest of our general populace and the international community. I also thank all our stakeholders and friends, particularly the members of the press for always projecting the activities of the NYC. Thank you and God bless you all.